Shalom, 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 Shalom. Before we even get started in this listen, first and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shah, Bashim Rakakadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And third, want to give salutations to all the icons of the hopeful elect that pushing forth this word and this truth in righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I'm Brother Haka from GMS South Carolina Midlands. And pretty much, man, we're going to read this uh, article here. It was this article, you know what I'm saying, that uh, <clears throat> that came across my feed. And Shalak, here it is now. There we go, there we go, there we go. Finally done zoom in. Here we go. All right, this article came across my feed, you know what I'm saying, um, earlier during the day. And um, the name of this title here, I mean, the name of this article here is from uh, Loss of Snap and Groceries, Groceries Inflation Push Consumers Off Hunger Cliff, man. So, you know, uh, you know, we've been, you know, when I say we, speaking of uh, uh, starting with the elders, apostles of Great Millstone to the elder bishops on down to the rest of the brothers of Great Millstone, every other brothers coming in the same spirit. Oh, yeah, how about you, I like Great Millstone. You know what I'm saying? Been bringing out the fact that a lot of these damn stores, you know, uh, shelves have been um, naked. All right. Getting empty or close to empty. Uh, you know, we've been bringing out information far as on, you know what I'm saying? This isn't the first time, you know what I'm saying? Esau was playing with the baby formula. So it was a shortage of baby formula. Then, you know, you had all these different uh, food plants. Um uh, mysteriously, mysteriously, which we which we know ain't no fucking mystery, but mysteriously, these damn meat uh, meat distribution plants and di meat distribution centers been blowing the hell up. You know, uh, a lot of these uh, a lot of these farms or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Esau, take like Bill Gates buying all the farms. You know, so man, everything is looting to. I mean, not looting to. Yeah, everything is. You know what I'm saying? Um, is preluding to this one world order ultimately where Esau are trying to seize everything, seize all the possessions of everybody, including you. All right. You know, looking to push forth his uh his karagma. All right, you know what I'm saying? So it's all end time prophecy, man. This is all end time prophecy where Esau is about to, you know, really the spirit of your Habashima Shah on Esau. All right, you know what I'm saying? To go ahead and put that full court press, man. You saw he about to really let those horns show. All right, America, as you as you think you know it, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's about to change right before your damn eyes, man. It's already changing, man, but you damn jakes, man. You you be, uh, you jakes, man. Y'all be in a state of fucking comatose, man. Y'all be in a state of deep damn sleep. Y'all know what the hell going on. All right, you know, and, and don't care to know. All right, until... You know what I'm saying? It's at your front door until, you know what I'm saying? You know, you go to these damn stores, ain't no food, you know what I'm saying, on these damn sh um, shelves. Then you want to inquire them. It ain't going to be too late for you simple niggas, man. All right. But nonetheless, man, let's read uh, this article here. Loss of snap and grocery inflation push consumers off hunger cliff, man. And famine is, is in the scriptures, man. That's one of the end time prophecies as well, too, man. Famine, man. All right, which is going to come a big way to Babylon, man. All right, aka America. All right, and America, man, this is a country, you know, that leads in obesity, man. All right, this is the most overweight country, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know, people, all right, you know what I'm saying, uh, rely, I mean, um, lie in America, man. All right, that's where they reside. They reside right here in Babylon. You know what I'm saying? Overweight. You know what I'm saying? You got your restaurants, got your fast foods, got your different buffets. You know what I'm saying? You know, every time you turn around, you saw always pushing those different fucking food commercials, whether them burger commercials or whatever. And a lot of times, you know, it's straight abomination got bacon on it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Pork bacon on it or whatever. You know how Esau love to do. But nonetheless, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, that America going to change before your eyes, man. You ain't going to be able to. Just ride down the road, man, and go to Chick-fil-A, man, and get you a chicken sandwich, man, and some fries, man, all right, and a chocolate chip cookie, all right? You ain't going to be able to do that, man, coming very soon, man, all right? You know, you ain't going to be able to travel like you want to coming very soon, man, all right? Like I said, man, Esau, hey, he know that his time is short, man, all right? He going to come and put, he going to come with that full court press, man, 
All right. You know, and it's called a one world order, man. It's coming very soon. But right now, that's one thing all you people love to do. You love to fucking eat, man, especially over here in Babylon, man. All right. A lot of you undisciplined. You don't know what a damn fast is. All right. Save your damn life. OK. All right. Every every two, three damn hours. Your ass eating something, man. All right. Nigga got to eat every, especially the black woman, man. Every time you turn around, you know what I'm saying? You see a, you see a goddamn bag in a fucking hand. I'm talking about a bag from a fucking restaurant in a hand, man. And usually, you know what I'm saying? What she ordering ain't nothing goddamn healthy neither, man. All right. Yeah, you know, she going to have, she, she going she gonna to be ordering the same shit to put all that weight on her ass, man. But nonetheless, man. You know what I'm saying? That, a change, most high about to bring a change very soon, man, called famine, man. All right. But most high, y'all about your mouth shy? About to bring the perfect uh, weight plan, all right, for you damn fucking obese, <laughs> obesities over here in Babylon, man, especially of our people, Jake. But nonetheless, man, let's get into it, man, all right? Um, it says high inflation and reduced government aid have led to a spike in food bank demand. A report Sunday, May 7th by Bloomberg News illustrates this trend with the example of the Red Cross food pantry in Boston which in April saw the highest monthly traffic in its 41-year history. It's happening at food banks nationwide as food stamps recipients cope with the expiration of a pandemic-era extension of SNAP benefits and high grocery prices. It's a hunger cliff, inflation, and ending these emergencies allotments, David Andre, who directs the Boston Food Bank, told Bloomberg, people are really crashing. And you ain't seen nothing yet, man. Think people crashing. No, you ain't seen nothing yet, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Wait, wait the most high hype in this damn famine throughout, throughout, throughout the world, man. All right. You're going to really see I really see the crazies, man. You, man, I'm telling you, man. You're going to see. You think you're seeing crime go up now. You think you see a lot of senseless crimes and senseless violence now. Man, you ain't seen nothing yet, man. All right. The worst is still yet to come, man. All right, and it's called Jacob's Trouble, and it's right there around the corner. But finishing up uh, this article here, it says the report citing census data notes that significantly more Americans are going hungry now than they were at the height of COVID. A close to 2.4 or 0.6 million Americans didn't have enough to eat early last month, compared to 16.7 million in April 2021. Damn. And, that's, and that number going to even skyrocket, man. All right. OK. All right. It says, meanwhile, food prices have continued to soar with companies like Nessa and Unlever hiking prices in recent months. It says increases to supplemental uh, nutrition assistance program SNAP approved by Congress during the pandemic came to an end for beneficiaries in most states at the end of March. As the PYM NTS has noted. This change cuts roughly ninety dollars out of the average SNAP user's budget. All right, so man, we we, we already man, we, we, you know what I'm saying. We get the drift, man. We we get where everything is going, man. Eventually, like I said, man, it's gonna be even worse than what you see right now, man. All right, you know what I'm saying. Like I say, like scriptures say, fuck what I say. Like the scriptures say, like y'all about your mouth, shall I say, man. You know, in Matthew 24, when it was going into the end time prophecy, you know, uh, we was letting apostles, not, not before they became apostles, when he was letting disciples know the signs of his coming, man. All right. You know, and, 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 and um, one, you know, what I'm saying the Lord was naming the rumors of war, you know, and then later on, the Lord said, you know, what I'm saying these are the beginning of sorrows, man. So, you know, what I'm saying the worst is still yet to come. It's just the beginning, man. It's only going to get worse and worse, man, till Yahweh shall have, you know, when he come back to deliver the elect. All right, from that second death, which is that nuclear fire. All right, you know, and and and, and two thirds of Israel and the rest of the world are gonna be judged, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know, over here in Babylon, over there in Israel. All right, you know, okay. Um, let's get let's get second Ezra, man, six. All right, and verse twenty two, because uh, what that's going into is a famine, man. The article we was reading a few moments ago is letting you know we headed into a damn famine, man. All right. And, and it's a man orchestrated famine, too. But really, that man is, is set up by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right. Esau, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, let me get this scripture real quick, man. Let's get uh, Proverbs. Let's, let's read. Let's get, we're going to get two scriptures. We'll get Proverbs uh, 20 and 24. All right. This is show you that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah control the thoughts of man. All right. Um, everything is a will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah at the end of the day. There's no such thing. 
as free will. Everybody's doing the will of Yah, Bashem Al Rashad. Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord, Yah, Bashem Al Rashad. How can a man then understand his own way? So that's clear. All right. So whatever your direction, whatever, uh, you know what I'm saying, wherever you're driven to is by Yah, Bashem Al Rashad, man. All right. If you out there on the highways and byways, you're a man of the Lord and you prophesying and you got 100% truth. Hey, man, your will is will of Yahweh Bashem Al Rashad. All right, <laughs> you know, okay, most I already preordained you, man. All right, if you a wicked ass nigga, you don't believe in nothing but yourself or money or whatnot, guess who put that spirit on you, man? Guess who uh, um, uh, categorized you as a two third? Hey, Yahweh Bashem Al Rashad, man. All right, at the end of the day, man, okay, you know. So the most high, he, you know what I'm saying, he controls, you know, some issues of life and death. And not only that, he controls the, the goings of man, man. All right. You know, in Proverbs 21 and 1, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Al Rashad. And we go back to, the, you know, go back to the Hebrew and look up that word heart. Lab, all right, lab, that means, you know what I'm saying, your mind, man. All right, you know, your mind, okay, your spirit, all right. It says the king's heart, so the king's mind. So when Esau, when he go about to, you know, to bring in his one world order, when he bring in, he write his wicked ass goddamn decrees, uh, when he gets... The know-how, most I give him intelligence on the left-hand side, you know what I'm saying, to come up with the technology, like, for example, to create, you know what I'm saying, a, a bomb, a nuclear bomb, you know what I'm saying, which most I set him up to create a nuclear bomb to ultimately destroy his own damn self. Most I put him in a trick bag, but nonetheless, Yahweh Bashim al he seals men instructions at the end of the day, all right, you know? So going back to Proverbs 21 and 1, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will, man. All right. So, you know what I'm saying? No, nobody had no independent thought, man. All right. You know, the thoughts, the will, when you go out there and you commit certain actions, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, guess what, man? You know what I'm saying? Guess who expired you to do that? Yeah, how about Shema Rashad? <laughs> Simple as that, man. Okay. All right. We read it right here in the scriptures, man. Now, let's get second address. All right. Because we read that article. A few moments ago, going into Esau, taking away all his little, all his little goodies. Like I say, loss of snap and grocery inflation push consumers off hung, hunger cliff, man. So a lot of you nigga women, man, on that goddamn government assistance. All right, you get all that government assistance, and you the first one to say you so goddamn independent. You gonna have the chance and opportunity to really be independent when Esau script. All of those entitlement programs from your ass. And we're going to see how independent your ass is. We're going to see how much you don't need a man then in that day and that time, man. A lot of you damn nigga women. Hey, man, you're going to suffer and your children going to suffer too, man. All right? Your kids going to fucking suffer too, man. All right? And that's that's the wrap. That, hey, that's that's Jacob Trouble that's coming, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, a lot of you going to be reduced to goddamn being cannibals, man. Cannibalism is going to come back in full effect, man. All right, that, that hey man, that gonna be hey, that gonna be trendy, man. All right, that gonna be very fucking trendy right here in Babylon, man. You're gonna be eating your little ones, man. Okay? You're gonna be eating your little ones, man. That's how bad it's gonna be. That's that's how much uh lack of food is gonna be out here, man. All right, and that's judgment of Yahweh Bashim Al Rashad, man. The most high part of famine is one of the plagues Yahweh Bashim Al Rashad is bringing to this earth, man. That's part of the visitation of uh, 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 of the Lord, man. Yahweh Shah before he returned, man. It's gonna be a great famine, man. All right. Okay, I mean, let, let's read some of it, man. Let's read it, man. Let's read it, man. All right. Let's, let's, let's get second um, Edris. Second Edris 6, and we, we'll start at verse 22. Second Edris 6, and we start at verse 22. And it's read, And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. So it, so it says the full storehouses, right? Right? And so, you know, modern day storehouses is what? Your, your grocery stores, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, your your um your Bilo, your Food Lion, <laughs> you know, your, your, your goddamn um Sam Goodies, your your damn um what else? Um different um Publix, your your, your Publix, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh grocery stores, man. Y'all 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 get the damn drift. But nonetheless, it says the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Going into, like, like, like hell, you know, we've been speaking on. You go in some of your damn stores, man, see how, you know what I'm saying, empty, man, and naked them damn shelves are, man. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of uh, videos on YouTube, man. You know what I'm saying? And social media, on different social media platforms in general, 
where you have people, you know, in different states and, and cities, man, that's going to their local grocery stores or food markets. And when they go in there, they, they, they go in there with a the camera phone and they film and show you how empty these damn stores are, man. Either they're showing you how empty them store shelves are, all right, and they're also showing you inflation, not the, the prices of the food, man, going up sky high, the way that people can't even afford the prices, man, all right, you know? So, and, and what are they going to cause, man? All right? Like I said, it's going to cause more crime, man. Cause more shoplifting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going to cause more people waiting out there in them damn parking lots, waiting on, waiting to follow your ass home or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, because, you know what I'm saying? Because of the lack of bread that's going to be out here, bro. You know? So, hey, it's going to get real, real bad out here, man. Hey, hey, if you, if, if you're not of the elect, all right, and, uh, of your how about your mouth shot, man, you're going to be out there, man. You're going to have no defense in that day and that time, man. All right? OK, you ain't going to have no covering, man. All right. Uh, but uh, let me read verse uh, 22 again. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses. Yeah, they full. They, at one time it was full, man. All right. You know, but now shall suddenly be found empty. Yeah, because we come into the end, man. And part of the end time prophecies, part of the, the judgment of Yahweh Shema was shot before he make his return. It's going to be a great famine. You know what I'm saying? In this earth, man. All right. At the end of the day. OK, matter of fact, I can I can read on down to verse 25, but the verse, but the point that was in 22, but all of it, all of it is good at the end of the day. Um, verse 23 and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear, they shall be suddenly afraid. Yeah, these prophecies that's popping off. All right. Verse 24 at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies called Jacob's trouble and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. And end of who world? End of Esau's world. All right, because when you go up, second Edges, uh, uh 6 and 9, it's red. Matter of fact, I read verse 8. Matter of fact, I read verse 7. Uh, second Ezra six and seven. Then answer I and said, what shall be the part and asunder of the times or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? So now, you know, we read it with context. When you read further down, when we jump, jump down to verse 22, where we, where we just got finished reading about the storehouse shall be empty. Those are end time of uh, future prophecies, man, which we're seeing right now. All right. It's right here in your damn face, man. And, it, and it's only going to get worse, man. All right. At the end of the day. Uh, verse um, um, second Ezra six, um, verse eight, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed it. So they show you that Esau is still here, ain't no damn all nations still on this earth, man. But you got people out there like Edomites, <laughs> like your vocab Malones. James, your Dr. James White, they'll tell, they'll, they'll tell you that, uh, you know, Edomites done away with, man. All right. Because 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 see, they already know that that they done did enough research in the scriptures because they've been listening, and following us. And they did their own research to know that they're Edomites and they read the judgment of Edomites according to the scriptures that Esau is going to be judged without any mercy from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. So, you know, who in their right frame of mind? will want to be an Edomite at the end of the day, all right? We, we understand very clear why Esau uh, sit up there and like a vocab Malone sit up there and make up a lie and say Edomite's done away with because he know the judgment that's coming to um, his people, man, all right? Himself and his damn people at the end of the day. By Yahweh Shema Shah, righteously so, man. Could be double until you got damn devils, man. All right, you know? Okay, but uh, and about you devils right now, man, all right? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We're going to be, I'll be back, you know, through the spirit of y'all by Shema Shah, man. I'll be, I'll be back on you damn devil's head, man. All right. But uh, we're going to continue on, you know what I'm saying? Where y'all by Shema Shah, like I said, you know, he prophesied that it's going to be a famine, man. He was bringing a famine. That's end time prophecies. And that's what we're seeing. All right. When we read that article there, and like I said, it's going to come to, uh, uh, you know, that famine is going to come to a, a state city <laughs> a town near you very soon man all right ain't go, man ain't gonna be no damn escaping man you know what i'm saying ain't gonna be no escaping the judgment of y'all about you shot man all right okay that's why you know what i'm saying you, you know you're supposed to be giving all diligence man make your election assured man on this side right here okay so when jacob's trouble um um when it when it's arrived 
you know, Yahweh Bashim Shah will defend you in that day and that time, man. All right. That's the only way you're going to make it through. All right. And, and Yahweh Bashim Shah is only going to defend the elect of the nation of Israel. So only for the nation of Israel at that as well. And it's only for the elect of Israel, period. Not no other damn nation, man. All right. When we say Israel, who we speaking of? All right. Specifically, we speaking of your so-called Negroes, your so-called Latinos, your so-called Native Americans. All right. But going back to second Ezra 16. All right. And, and reading verse 22, it says, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. Uh oh, that Jacob trouble, man. It says many, man. All right. Many. All right. You know what I'm saying? We seeing the signs of it, man. Like I said, it's only going to get worse, man. All right. According to the scriptures, it's only going to get worse. The scripture says it's the beginning of sorrow. All right. Matter of fact, when, when, when you jump up to verse 19, let me jump up to verse 19. I'm going to jump back to verse 22. But let's uh, let me jump up to verse 19 real quick. Nah, matter of fact, let me jump to verse 18, man. Damn. Matter of fact, jump to verse 17. God, no. <laughs> uh, second Ezra 16 and 17. It says, woe is me. Woe is me. Who would deliver me in those days, man? So here it is. You know, Ezra's man. And, you know, men was in a, you know, had a different mentality, different mindset. Going back in the ancient world, men was men back then, man. All right. You know, and here it is. Ezra's man. You know, he, he was saying, woe is me, woe is me. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, and woe means destruction, man. Because Ezra was seeing all the prophecies, the end time prophecies. He was seeing Yahweh Shema Rashad bring Jacob's trouble. All right. And starting with the house of Israel, man. OK. And the most, and like I said, two thirds are, you know, is majority of Israel. So when Ezra and the prophets like Daniel, you know, John Revelator, when they were seeing these prophets, uh, seeing these prophecies, they ain't fully understood it. And they was getting sick, man. Be right there. They, you know, uh, Ezekiel, they, they were asking you, how about your mouth shot? What, you about to destroy all of Israel? God, no. That's how much judgment the Most High was bringing to Israel, man. All right? Okay? All right. It ain't about to be a light thing, man. Second Ezra 16 and 17, man. That's why, we, we, you know what I'm saying? we Like Scripture said, man, you know what I'm saying? The terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Out of the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, man. Okay? Because, hey, man, y'all about your mouth shot is not playing, man. All right? You know, he ain't playing now, but he really ain't about to play during time of Jacob's trouble. What's going on, huh? What's going on? This right here, Second Ezra 16, all right, verse uh, verse uh, 18. It says, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death. See, that ain't nothing light, man. Nothing light, bro. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, man. So it's just the beginning, man. So the most I got more to come at the end of the day, man. All right, this light right here, man. Okay, what the most high is bringing is light, man. You ain't, we, we ain't seen it. I'm including myself. We ain't seen nothing yet, bro. All right, you know. That's why, like I say, you got to give all diligence, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, so we can be on the right side. Like the elders apostles always like to quote in Psalms, where the scriptures talk about kiss the sun, which roughly paraphrasing, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much. You want to stay on your how about your mouth shot, good side. You want to stay on your how shot, good side, man. All right, you, you, you want to be part of the, the two thirds, man. Okay, two thirds going to go out bad, man. They're going to go out bad, man. All right, you know telling you man all right and most i got a million and one ways for them to go out too they they're gonna have shameful ass fucking deaths man okay and they're gonna go out with pain man they're gonna know death by pain like scripture say bro this ain't no light thing man second edra 16 and 18 the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear the beginnings of evil what shall i do when these evils shall come see that's called jacob's trouble all right, if you ain't on the right hand side of your house, your mouth shop, you're not part of the elect. Hey, what's gonna happen is you, hey, you're gonna be put to death, man. All right, one these, these plagues is gonna overwhelm you and, and ain't gonna take you, bro. All right, okay, your judgment is gonna be dealt from your house, your mouth shop, period. Uh, verse 19 Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, man. All right, so 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 that's part of the judgment. Your house, your mouth shop, be breaking. And, and remember, we, we look at reading verse 19. Famine is part of it, man. See, that's part of the visitation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. That's not that's that that's not a light thing. You know what I'm saying? At the end of, at the end of the day, man. Okay. And jumping back down, that's the point I wanted. That's the point I wanted to get right there. That's the point I wanted to make. And jumping back down to verse 22. All right, it says, um, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other shall, and the other that escape the hunger sh shall the sword destroy. See? Whew. Boy, that ain't light, bro. And the dead shall be cast out as dung. You know what dung is? Dung is shit, man. All right? You know, your body ain't going to even have a, a, a burial, a proper burial, man. All right? Because that's how much death is uh, most of us bringing, man. Okay? You ain't going to have time to bury no damn body. That's how much death is going to be on this earth, man. Okay? It says, and there shall 
be no man to comfort them for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down and man oh man that's called jacob's trouble man all right everybody gonna be in it bro okay all right you know as scripture said every man sought out his own salvation man all right so if you ain't of the elect all right you know what i'm saying that day and that time isaiah 33 6 ain't gonna be you with wisdom and knowledge shall be stability of thy time the strength of our salvation man hey man two-thirds man hey man you know what I'm saying? You 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 ain't gonna have you, you know your strength, you know what I'm saying, or you think your strength gonna be in America. Boy, 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 you're gonna be in a sad case, man. You're gonna be in a bad case. Sad, bad, you're gonna be in a bad case, bro. All right. Like the scripture said, man. Isaiah. Isaiah. I ain't gonna even quote it. I'm just gonna bring it out. Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. See? It says woe means destruction. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. And that's two thirds. They ain't looking to Yahweh Bashim al -Bashah. And mainly when that going to happen, hey, um, the time that's coming, man, it's called the hour of temptation. When Esau, you know, come with that doggone um, Karagma, where you can't buy or sell that you got his mark. Hey, what do you think Jake going to do? They're going to trust in your how about your mouth shy to make a way for him? Or you think, you know what I'm saying, they're going to trust in this system, man, all right, where they can physically see, you know what I'm saying, that mark um, implanted in them. They can physically see, you know what I'm saying, you going into these stores, you know what I'm saying, and you can scan, you know what I'm saying, because you got the mark in you, you know what I'm saying, to make your purchase or whatnot. So what you think a nigga going to do? You think he going to, you know, a nigga, nigga mind, man, I ain't believing no mystery of God. I can't even see God or God know my heart. God don't want me to starve and niggas will start making damn excuses because they ain't got no faith, man. All right. And which ultimately going to lead them to the destruction, man, because they trust, you know what I'm saying? Because they had trust in goddamn um, Esau. They trust in the wicked, man. And Esau can't even save himself at the end of the day, man. All right. So what the hell are you going to trust in Esau? He can't even save his dog on himself, man. OK, that that, 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 that that wouldn't be wise. All right. That wouldn't be a wise thing to do. Um. Let's get this right. Deuteronomy 28. Because the scriptures, because uh, I bought, I, I made a um, statement. I said, man, you're going to eat your damn kids, man. That famine, man. Your children going to be turning a damn chicken sandwich, a, a goddamn uh, a baconator, a, a chicken nuggets, man. All right. You know, they be like a, a, a plate of lamb, a rack of lamb and shit in that day and that time, man. Okay. <laughs> when the most I bring that famine, man. You know, like on cartoons back in the day, you used to watch, especially like Looney Tunes, Buzz Bunny or something. Where, uh, you know, Buzz Bunny, you know, and it may be like in a damn desert, you know, ain't no water, ain't no damn food. And they so goddamn, you know, they starving. And you know what I'm saying? Where they can look at it, it could be like a damn tree, but a damn tree look like a damn big uh, stack of pancakes, you know, with syrup dripping down from it. You know what I'm saying? With butter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That butter on top. You know what I'm saying? You know? And you know what I'm saying? They up there imagining, they're imagining, you know what I'm saying? That goddamn, cause that's how hungry they is, man, in their mind. They mind playing tricks on them, man. You know, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You know? So that's how you, that's how you, um, you Jake's gonna be, man. You're looking at your damn kids, man. Your kids gonna be turning into a, a, a damn fucking snack, man. All right, you know? Hey, Deuteronomy 28, man, 52. It says, and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates until thy high and fence walls come down wherein thou trustest. And, you know, this happened before 70 AD, but it's going to happen again. It happened a couple of times in our history where Jake, where Israel, where, you know what I'm saying, where, you know, we, we, uh, uh, a city was siege and Jake, you know what I'm saying, we was reduced to, uh, you know what I'm saying, when Jake, Jake was in a damn famine where they was uh, committing cannibalism, man. So that happened a couple of times, you know what I'm saying, in our history, man. That was judgment. How about your mouth was bringing on Israel. Israel fucking going off, man. So how much more today, man? All right, this is the wicked Israel ever been right here, man. Because it's the same wicked generation coming back, man. All right, and they did worse than their fathers, which they are their fathers coming back. So, you know what I'm saying? So the judgment going to be even even that much more severe that Yahweh Shema is going to be bringing from uh, years past, man. From, the hit, from, from yeah, from, from past times, man. Okay, Deuteronomy 28 and 52. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates until thy high and fence walls come down, wherein thou trustest throughout all thy land and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land which the lord yahweh shall thy power have given thee and thou shall eat the fruit of thy own body so it says that thou shall eat the fruit of thy own body I'm talking about your kids man all right it says the flesh of thy son see and of thy daughters that's how bad it's gonna be man can you imagine bro you know what i'm saying being in that time when you so motherfucking hungry bro 
You know what I'm saying? Your ribs fucking touching and shit or whatnot, man. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You at the point of where you, animal instincts start taking over. You can't even think logically, bro. All right. You know what I'm saying? Like you're going to really turn into a complete savage in that day and that time. You know what I'm saying? Gonna be nice civil in you in that time, man. In that day and that time, man. All right. For you two third niggas, man. It'll be nice civil in you. You're going to be civil in that day and that time. All right. You're going to turn into savages, man. All right. Which a lot of you are any damn way. But nonetheless, finish reading it. It says, verse 53, and thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body, the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters, which the Lord thy power have given thee in the siege and in the straightness wherein thy enemy shall distress thee. Yeah, man. OK, so that, that, that's what you have. I'm going to reduce some of you niggas, too, man. That's going to be your judgment, man. Most I going to go. going to bring that wrath so great and most I going to bring so much calamity to you. To you going you gonna you gonna either put your damn kids in the fucking oven and shit. You're gonna be cooking your kids, man. All right. You know, gonna be barbecuing, you know what I'm saying, your kids and shit, bro. Okay, that, that, that that's what's coming, man. But for the elect, cause you, cause you niggas may say, Well, what about you? You gonna be in it too. You go, yeah, yeah, we're gonna be in the um, you know what I'm saying? We gotta face that Jacob trouble too, just like your ass. Yeah, you right, you right about that. You know what I'm saying? I never say we didn't, man. But 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 one damn thing, hey, I'd rather like I'm praying about that number. Hey man, we got your how about your mouth shot defend us though. What you niggas don't have. See, that's the advantage we got over you niggas, man. Hey, we got y'all about your mouth shot. Y'all don't on this side right here. Okay? Cause you wanna be everybody. You wanna be you wanna be everybody but who you are. You niggas don't wanna be Hebrew Israelites, man. We tell y'all from the elders apostles, the elder bishops on down us, we got them highways and byways, prophesy, give you that warning, telling you who you are. You don't even want to accept it, man. All right? You still want to remain in congregation of the dead. Still want to be African American. You want to be everybody but who, but who you are. All right? We gosh, we all just, we all are human people. We all just human beings, man. We, we mix with everything. We mix with it. Man, I tell you, boo, hey, Jake just messed up all in the head, man. But, none the, but nonetheless, man. Yeah, man, how y'all going to eat, too? How y'all going to eat, man? We going to starve. Y'all going to start. No, it ain't, nigga. You know, most I going to protect his um, very elect, his servants. Uh, Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. See, most of our servants shall eat. So we don't give a damn about no damn food on the shelves and, and a fat and, and, and a dad and, and a um, famine coming. We don't care nothing about that, man. Cause we know that going to happen anyway. We know it got to happen, man. That end time prophecy. But we have faith in Yahweh, that the Most High is going to make a way for us, man. Which we reading right here. Verse 13, man. All right. Before you niggas with y'all lack of faith. Hey man, you just gonna you're gonna reap your judgment from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, which is gonna be death, man. And it can come in any in any form or fashion, man. All right, that's the scary thing about it, man. Most high can bring your greatest fear upon your ass, man. All right. Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And that's two thirds, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, because why y'all ain't returned back to y'all about your mouth shot, man. And like I say, this right here is the beginning, this beginning of uh, uh, sorrows right here, man. And like I said, we out here doing what we supposed to do, men of the Lord, something else, apostles, elder bitches on down us, giving giving you that warning, man. So 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 when it so when it happened, you can't say you ain't you, man. I ain't getting the memo. I ain't I ain't I ain't know. I ain't getting the message. Hey, that's on your ass, man. All right, <laughs> you ain't getting the message because you ain't want to get it. All right, and it ultimately wasn't for you to get anyway, man. But nonetheless. Man, ending this um um listen right here, praying I hope that this listen was edifying to the body, hope for lack like that. I wanna say shallow warm, shallow warm, so hope for lack, shallow warm.